A very good evening, and I'm Shanti Jola for your listeners. Welcome back to your three hundred twenty-first year of your Godly blessing. Where God is teaching us a method to remove our sins and purify ourselves, and also purify the five elements and help others to also purify themselves. So let's find out what exactly is that. Baba says, "May you burn away your sins." How do we burn away our sins? God says, and sanskars of tamoguni nature. Sanskars means habits of tamoguni. Tamoguni means completely degraded form of thinking and acting. Nature with your tapasya and be seen as an embodiment of tapasya. Tapasya means to focus on something pure and divine and enact ourselves on the basis of that understanding. Let's get into the details. Baba says. Just as the task of godly sustenance is now taking place, God is guiding us. He is giving us every day spiritual knowledge. He is helping us to sustain ourselves through the spiritual family. But God says, in the same way, in the last moments, last moments means when we talk about complete annihilation, when we talk about Mahakal or the Great Death, or when we talk about Kayamat, that time, what will happen? What is going to happen? A couple of years before that. There's going to be a lot of turmoil in the whole world. So God is talking about those last moments, the task of burning away your sins and the tamoguni sanskars. We, if we have done some sins in this birth and a previous birth, and if they're still remaining, God says we have to burn away your sins by remembering Me. Right now we have to think about earning money, we have to think about eating, sleeping, everything. But when the end of days comes, all that will finish off. Earning money, savings, millions and billions and crores, whichever you. We are thinking about right now. You are thinking about right now. Will not be there in your thoughts anymore. You will be thinking about either God or you will be thinking about survival. So God says, at that time, you have to burn away your sins and the tamoguni habits and tamoguni quality of the elements. Also, we have to burn off. Has to take place with the tapasya. The five elements will also be shaking up. Tsunamis, earthquakes, and many other calamities will be happening. And God says, the more you meditate, the more they will reform because they will become completely impure. Air is completely impure. Water has become impure. Earth has become impure. So they'll have to rearrange themselves, and that can happen when you are doing your purification of the thoughts. So when the incognito soul becomes pure, everything around it, five elements, also become pure. When collective consciousness consciousness of crores or billions or millions of souls increases. Then that collective consciousness vibration goes out into all the five elements and purifies them. So the five elements have to reform themselves. That's how the destruction will also take place of Kali Yuga. So then God says, for this, constantly be stable on the seat of a constant and stable stage. For this, we have to be completely stable for that purpose. Otherwise, the five elements will not be able to rearrange themselves. Souls will not be able to purify themselves, and we won't be able to get rid of our sins. So stable on the seat of a constant and stable stage, and reveal your tapasvi form. Let your renunciation of body consciousness, body consciousness, to soul consciousness. God is soul conscious, and we call him our father. Whereas we have become body conscious. That's why we are sinning. God says, become soul conscious. Your sins will start reducing, and you will become purified, and you'll be ready to come up to me. Otherwise, it will be very difficult to go back if you are body conscious. And the tapasya of being soul conscious be visible in every physical organ of yours in a practical way. If you are soul conscious, we will see good in others. We will hear good about others. We will talk good about others. But if you are body conscious, we will see evil in others. We are evil, talk evil, and we'll be thinking evil. So soul consciousness helps us to purify. Body consciousness makes us sinful. So what is this soul conscious and body consciousness in details? And how to meditate on soul consciousness? You can come and learn it at Brahma Kumari's Godly Spiritual University. Have a blessed good night. Om Shanti.